I'm the type of teacher that likes to see kids get excited about what they're learning and when I give them a project I see their excitement and then they get frustrated because it's a challenge. Once they succeed in what they're doing they have such confidence and they have a real love of learning after that. Ms. McDevitt is kind and caring and always considers what each student needs from the get-go. So whether it's a kid that's coming from a strong technology background at home or the kid that maybe doesn't have the internet at home and doesn't have that interaction, she makes sure that every child has a level playing field. She sets up her classroom so that everybody can find success. There was a young lady that came into my classroom very stubborn to learn anything about engineering and she was interested in design though and I got to make that connection that design is engineering and after a while she dug in, got her hands dirty, started building and she became a wonderful asset to our classroom. When this structure gets nice and solid. Well being a, a female teacher in a dominantly male field Mrs. McDevitt's able to just kind of squash all those beliefs from the get-go. She brings girls into the program whether they're in her class or after school joining the robotics team. She makes sure that every student, every assignment is targeted to what each child needs. So whether they're male or female, it doesn't matter. Public education is so important because it gives every student their right to a excellent education. and. We have services available for every child, and we have teams of teachers that are there to support that child. If Mrs. McDevitt is chosen as the Buncombe County Teacher of the Year, it's going to be a big honor for our school. It also points in the direction of what a strong program she created, what a strong support Buncombe County has put in place for Project Lead the Way teachers, and also just that feeling that we're doing great things here at North Buncombe Middle School. My why is to see students succeed, to see them gain confidence, and to see them succeed into their futures. Kids have a natural curiosity in the middle school and I don't want to squash it. I want them to use it to discover something new. There was a student last year, only one tooth in the front, missing one just a boy, very full of himself, and he came in, I don't like to read, I don't read. I, I really, reading's just not my thing. So we worked and we worked, and at the end of the year, he came up and he just very nonchalantly said, you know, I just love reading. <laughs> that was a wonderful moment, and you know, there are those that, they come in like that and, and they don't believe in themselves, because he used to say, he said, I can't do it, I can't do it. I said, yes, you can. So to have them believe in themselves, that's, that's a great moment. Lick, kick, and milk, yes. The students love Miss Prickett. Sometimes they call her Miss Cricket um, as she teaches her first graders and she just is warm and caring and inviting and her students gravitate to her. Somehow they can't say the PR part of Prickett. It comes out as Cricket. They'll, I'll say, my name is Mrs. Cricket, and they'll go, okay, so Mrs. Cricket, what are we gonna do today? <laughs> and I love it, I like being Ms. Cricket. When you see interactions in her classroom, you will always see students that are enthusiastic about learning, and Ms. Cricket's enthusiastic. She's in the floor with them every day. It's just magical to be in her classroom. I love my job, I love being here every day. There's not a day I've been to school that I'm, I don't look forward to it. I think Patsy's patience and just her capacity to take one day at a time, problem solve, meet students where they are and give them exactly what they need, their point of need, is something that teachers can learn from her. Um, that you can't do it all at once, that it does take time and patience and that she never stops learning. They're exciting too. They love life. They love learning. They want to know more. I want to know more. You know, I love to hear what they have to say about things. Often they have an insight into something that I never even thought about, even first graders. I would like to be remembered by the students for someone who believed in them, someone who pushed them a little bit to be better than who they thought they could be. I will 
someone who, who sparked that interest in them that really got them going on learning and, and being inquisitive and wanting to know more and to be a better self, to be a better human being. My why starts when I was in kindergarten with Miss Schilling, speech therapist for Buncombe County Schools, had a speech impediment, deaf in one ear. If I didn't have that speech therapist, who knows, you know, where I would be. Every year there was always a teacher that showed me something that would benefit me or push me to the next level and they really created me and my why for teaching in Buck County Schools and especially at a school like Irwin with our socioeconomic demographics is because I'm just repaying my debt because I owe Buncombe County Schools everything that I've become. Brian Gonzalez understands where the children are coming from. He understands what his students' needs are, what their desires are, and he's able to use that as a way to structure his classroom and develop relationships with students that has enhanced our social studies department and has enhanced our entire school my socioeconomic status growing up and, and all the difficulties and being homeless and, and moving and, and just having to deal with the emotional turmoil of, of being, you know, in poverty and being a student that is almost invisible. Those are some of the connections that we make. And f with that goes the responsibility that, you know, here, I, I understand you and now I'm gonna push you. I am so proud of Brian Gonzalez because in the past eight years that I've worked with Brian, I've seen him grow each and every year as a professional. Not only is he the school improvement team chair, teacher of the year, social studies department, but he's also our assistant boys varsity basketball coach. Brian spends countless hours on this campus working with students. When you walk into my classroom, you're gonna see those relationships being built, the respect, mutual respect there, and then the rigor of the course load. You know, one of my big things with my students that I remind them every single day is you're about to receive a private school education for a public school price. Brian was the choice of our faculty mainly because he sets the example for others to follow. I've been here for 10 years now, going on 11, and I tell my peers that there's no other place that I'll ever go. And I don't care where you come from, I don't care what your background is, I'm gonna help you become the person that you wanna become. I first became interested in teaching by watching my first grade teacher, Ms. Sossman, write on chalkboards. And I decided that I wanted to be a teacher so that I could write on chalkboards. <laughs> and it wasn't until I was in seventh grade that I began to see the true impact of what teaching is. Ms. Tao, my seventh grade math teacher, really inspired me. I went into math hating it, told her that I was really discouraged, and she gave me a hug during open house and said, don't worry, you will love math by the end of this year. She used manipulatives with me, games, and she was absolutely right. Yeah, Rebecca has a I look at students and, you know, by forming those personal relationships with them, you can really see a student that's struggling. Going up to that student, putting your arm around them, just making them feel confident and making them feel like they can do it, I think that just goes leaps and bounds with, with kids. That's what they need. What do you think I mean by that question? Ms. Morell's role is huge. She's one of those employees who serves on just about every committee because if you look at technology and media, and then if you add in science and engineering and the arts and the math, which is what Black Mountain Primary is all about, she is part of every bit of that. I think she also sets the example for other young educators that you can be the best of the best in a very short period of time and she has taken our technology and our media center to new levels. Being a media specialist, not only are we teachers, but we are also tech support. And you know, I'm there with my teachers making sure that they feel confident in that technology. I think it's very appropriate for a media specialist to be given the award of Teacher of the Year. Media specialists go above and beyond to meet the needs of anyone in their building, whether that be a five-year-old or a veteran teacher. My why is that the students inspire me. I want students to come back 
10 years from now and, and revisit me because they remember being in the library and they remember falling in love with reading. I, I think that's really what teaching is all about is you know making students fall in love with asking why and wanting to learn. That's how I would like to be remembered. I got into teaching because I grew up with a brother that had special needs. And so all the way through school, I watched him really struggle. And what ended up happening was my senior year in high school, he said, you know, I'll never respect a teacher because they don't respect kids like us. They just let us fall through the cracks and wait until they don't have to teach us anymore. And in that moment, something clicked. And I realized that the only thing that I had to do to make it right is help children like him in the future. Miss Alexander is a teacher leader at Oakley Elementary School. She's a child-centered teacher who has worked to build our community. She has been instrumental in writing a Kaboom Playground grant for our school last school year. It was a opportunity to bring our entire school community together with our PTO, with our students, and students to actually design the playground and community volunteers to bring about a reality in June. When a parent comes into my classroom, they're going to see fun learning happening by the students and also by myself. I definitely am a learner in my room. It's all about collaboration, respect, and honesty. Often she'll be in the floor with the children in small reading groups. She'll be making the reading come alive to students. And she makes students feel that they are number one at Oakley Elementary School. Really, public education shows us what the real world looks like. We're not secluded, we're not away from others that are different from us, whether it be different on the inside, different background experiences, different in the way that we look, our faith backgrounds. We learn from one another. All of us are special and all of us are unique. The amazing thing about Miss Alexander is the amount of true care and concern that she has about the Oakley community. She is vested with her children and maintains contacts with students as they go into high school and beyond. Those contacts are lifelong as she builds relationships with children. My why is because every child is worth it. Because every child, no matter where they come from, no matter what their background is, no matter what they believe or perceive their abilities to be, they're all worth it. Every child has a talent, every child will change the world. I was an actress for a company touring all over the Southeast for children. I loved sharing theater with kids and that's where I really found my passion, is sharing theater with kids and then teaching them the life skills that I learned through theater. What does focusing have to do with drama? So if it's public speaking or confidence or just getting along with other people, I feel like they can learn about that through theater and then figure out that theater can help them in every other curriculum. When I walk in Lori's classroom, I know that I'm going to see all of the students engaged, everyone will be moving, that there is structure and organization, and every student is valued. And that means so much to these children. Every child, no matter what ability level, has the ability to learn. And every child can be a part of something bigger. It is our responsibility to invite children into our surroundings and teach them how to learn. We train them and show them how to investigate, how to find information, and then what they can do with that information to help the rest of the world later. We want our children to grow and live in this community. And that's a foundation for Lori. She wore, she dressed up for Spirit Day the other day in, a, uh, in an old Robertson Rams cheerleading uniform. It's okay to be silly, even as a teacher. And it's a fun thing. It makes the kids feel like you're a part of their team. And that's an important part of being a teacher, especially at this age. Lori was selected as Teacher of the Year for Coons Intermediate because of her passion for children, her sense of community within this school and within the Robertson District, and the work that she puts forth within the classroom and within her extracurricular activities shows forth a mastery. I try to find that little spark in them 
and kids that may not always be the class clowns or the leader of the class, I try to find something in them that allows them to find freedom on stage or find freedom to be able to express themselves. And for those students to recognize that is just beautiful. There will be students in high school and college and in careers that will say, Ms. Hilliard brought me out of my shell and helped me be the success I am.